and Brent talking to each other. Doug and Brent, what will they talk about today? Doug and Brent are talking to some pimples. Doug and Brent will talk to their friends. And Doug and Brent talking on the Poundcast. Welcome to the Poundcast, Brent. Welcome Today, to the, welcome to the Poundcast, Doug. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I thought you'd never thank me. Or I thought you'd never welcome me. <laughs> I thought you'd never welcome. I thought you'd never welcome. Um, today is going to be part two of things that annoy us. Last week was things that annoy me, and we got into it, and it was pretty. And, epic. and we figured out a bunch of solutions too. Yeah, and these are going to be solutions for anything that annoys you. Um, I posted on Instagram. What's something that annoys you? And it was the biggest DM flood of DMs I've ever gotten in my life. And today we're going to look at things that annoy you, the pound pimple community, and we're going to have solutions. Uh, we're, gonna, we're about to get into that. But first, Brent, how was your Thanksgiving? Oh, it was, it was nice. It was cool. I mean, I celebrated it a week prior to Thanksgiving because it just scheduling wise, that's how my family did it. But um, on actual Thanksgiving, I just had dinner with my mom just because uh, we already had done Thanksgiving with the family. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, we just uh, had some dinner. How was yours? Oh, it was very weird, Brent. Oh, uh, well, how come? Well, you know, I, I wanted to bring my own snacks to, you know, everyone was bringing an offering to the, you know, there's a big family Thanksgiving meal. Uh, a lot of meat and stuff, and I made uh, I made some mushroom uh, portobello mushroom steaks for myself. Oh, and people liked it. You know, I went th followed a recipe. I also brought some Louisville vegan jerky, and everyone was like, "What the heck is this?" You know, they're like, "I'm not trying to eat that." Huh? I go, just take a bite. My grandpa, I go, Grandpa, you gotta try this. You know, the guy is 85 years old. Oh. I was like, please, Grandpa, just try it. Just try what I brought. And he he finally caved. He said, you know what? It is the holiday spirit. I'll try the snack you brought. He took one bite. And I swear, he did some cartwheels. He became he young. Cartwheeled, he cartwheeled right out. There's like a big plate glass window. Out my sister-in-law's. Uh, front front of their house he smashed through it and we haven't seen him since he became young again like he that became young. yeah he he smashed out the window and he was like i can't believe i've been wasting my life and he just ran away he jumped on a bike he jumped on a bmx bike and he did he just cruised down the street it's like the that episode of twilight zone remember <laughs> that one where all the old people become young Oh really? I, I got to rewatch that. Kick, I think it's called "Kick the Can" or something like that. Um, yeah, so that was weird. And I then the rest of my family was all. They're like, "We got to try it. We got to try it." They all started eating it. Everyone like, said, well, "I want to be. I want to become young again. I want to become. I want to be young old. again." I said, "This stuff is not going to make you young. I don't know what happened to Grandpa." Okay. But they were like, "Oh, we'll try it anyway." And you know what? They liked it. It was a Carolina. What was it the Carolina barbecue? Um, oh, that's the one that did it. That's the one I brought because that's my favorite flavor. I also brought some buffalo dill, and I brought some. Uh, yeah, it was the Smoky Carolina barbecue. That's my, my favorite, and that just, you know, it really. Everyone before that, everyone was sort of on edge. You know, there's different family conflicts, and the jerky really brought them together, and it made my grandpa. He's just out there on his BMX bike that he stole. <laughs> Uh, but we're happy for him. He's happy. Um, and they were like, okay, Doug, where do we get it? Where do we get this stuff? Where'd you find it? I said, louisvilleveganfoods.com. Use the code word poundcast and you can get 20% off. And they like dropped their place. They're like, 20? <laughs> the 20%? Two zero? They're What's like, yeah. two zero. The I'm discount like, made them young. The discount made them feel great. They turned off the football game. They're like, what are we watching? Well, they said 20% off. I, those are prices. Those are the same kind of prices as when I was a teenager, when I was a kid. 
And then they, I feel like I'm in high school again. Yeah, they all felt like all your people said they couldn't believe these savings. I said, yeah, of course, this is this is only for pound pimples, you know. This is a special because yeah, they have to use the code word poundcast. (laughs) They said you get you get twenty percent off. They said I feel like a pound pimple all over again because they used to be pound pimples when they were younger, you know. Yeah. They said I feel like I'm I feel like I'm a pound pimple again. So it was a big hit. That's the bottom line. The family loved it. And uh, I saved Thanksgiving with my Louisville vegan jerky treat. And you can save 20. And you can save too. Like I said, use the code word poundcast for 20% off at louisvilleveganfoods.com. Okay. You can, <laughs> you can, <laughs> you can save, you can save next year's Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. You could save, you know what? Christmas, Christmas is coming up. You could save that too. You know what? Christmas came early this year. <laughs> That's right. Christmas came. Christmas comes every month. Actually, Christmas comes every week this year when we mention Louisville Vegan Foods. Every, <laughs> every, you know what I mean? And the discount that it, you get. Yeah, it comes year round because if you, when you get that package of jerky in the mail, it'll feel like Christmas. Right. Christmas comes every week because of Louisville Vegan Jerky. Yeah. And if, you know, if you don't want to order it, of course you can get it at Whole Foods. I, I was at Sprouts uh, today and I got a bag. They got it there. They it's bagged. In, it by the way, that stuff is bagged in the United States. Yeah. And it's and got, it's a, also you know, you know, it's got a shelf life of nine months. Right. Yeah. Not that you're going to wait nine months to eat the stuff yeah. too good. Can't wait. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta um, admit something, Brent. I lied a little bit. I don't have a grandpa, but well, you know, it. It. I was about to ask you. Your <laughs> grandpa's only eighty. Only eighty. I mean, he, your grandpa's only eighty five. That doesn't really oh, make right. sense because I feel like eighty five is uh, around. It could the, be. Well, okay, because my dad is eighty five or eighty four. You know. Oh so my I, gosh. So I thought. Well, well, yeah, that's pretty. That's kind of young, I guess. My parents are close to eighty, but. I think they had me when they were like 30 or something. I don't know. Um, they could have, you know, people could have had, you hear about these stories of these like young grandmas that are like 30, right? They yeah. had a kid when they were 13. Teenager. Their and kid has a kid when they're kid 13. Had a kid. The next thing you know, you got, That's you true. have these, um, what do you call it? Uh, people that are the same age. They're like colleagues. <laughs> yeah contemporaries it's like my great great my great colleague is over here and my <laughs> we're gonna have a colleague dinner um peers peers you call them <laughs> peers yeah yeah uh your dad I, okay yeah so you're i was thinking oh is your granddad a baby who had a baby or but i wish baby anyways um all right let's move on with the show let's well um, let's but before we do move on to the show let's just mention a couple other things okay oh sure oh my gosh we yeah, we absolutely gotta mention a few things here hit them with those things would you huh brett and i are going on tour a small tour but first of all we're going to be hitting up appleton wisconsin huh uh-huh. it's uh looks like it's outside of green bay i've never been there before but i'm excited about it so and this is going to be in January, January 20th, Thursday, January 20th at the Skyline Comedy Club in Appleton, Wisconsin. I think it might even be called the Comedy Cafe. I think the Skyline Comedy Cafe, maybe. Okay. Just you'll, in case anybody gets confused. You know? Just look up Skyline. And you'll, Skyline, Skyline Comedy. Comedy and you'll figure out the rest. Um, next day, we're going to be in Chicago at the hideout two shows two shows what are they seven and nine something like that something like that something like that two shows sell let's sell it out folks let's sell all of it out let's sell out apple it all out and then the next day speaking of louisville we're going to be in louisville at um zanzibar on uh, january 22nd of 2022 and, and uh, I have a bunch of new bits I've been working on. I did them last night at some new stuff at the Neil Hamburger show. And oh, yeah. And I'm excited to share. I'm excited to share it with my Midwest brothers and sisters. I got so a lot of new, 
I got a lot of new bits as well. So I know. We went to I know. last time we were in Chicago, at least. But, although, hey, you know, Appleton and Louisville, we could probably just do the oldest stuff we ever done before. I'm gonna do some classics there. We might those do some classics up in those pieces. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. But I will say this: that oh, this I hope this is makes it more enticing to go. But if anybody's concerned about you know things, um, the shows are will be requiring vaccination proof of vaccination for all the shows that we're doing. So. Yeah, because we don't play that. Because homie don't play that. And homie don't play it. And do they, I guess we can find this out, but is is there, do they do the, the, the negative COVID test thing too, or is it only a vax? There might be a negative COVID test thing too, but we'll have to look into that. Check into the, check, check with the venue. Uh, but homie, don't play that, and we'll see you there. And yeah. um, we're gonna have a fun time. No Kobo. <laughs> no, no Kobo. <laughs> no Kobo. No Kobo. Um, now, look, I would just want to say I saw your vaccination card, and it looks really nice. No Kobo. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, so another thing uh, that we should mention is that if you want to get some exclusive extended episode content and not just actually there's a couple things we okay we have this patreon we have a patreon profile it's called patreon.com slash poundcast and every episode we do an extra half hour to an hour sometimes more than that even and a lot of stuff gets cooking in that that time and you can get access to that we do that every week you get access to that and the video to it on the patreon account so check it out and there's also little sometimes little tidbits there and in fact one little thing we we have there is exclusive to patreon subscribers is we're going to have we did this last year we're going to have a uh pound cast hollywood holiday party once again that's right brent and um the date we have to figure out a date but we're going to do that in december or which is now yeah it is december <laughs> yeah. now yeah well which it's going to be before christmas so yeah. stay tuned for that join the patreon patreon.com slash podcast anything else brent uh yeah sorry um the there's a we get there's a, if you do want would prefer to watch the pound the podcast it's uh youtube.com slash the poundcast and let me just say this i just wanted to mention my own thing i put this out several years ago but i just thought i'd mention it because it is december now um i made a little piano christmas album it's not comedy related but um i just made this little christmas piano album and it's called brent weinbach christmas piano i think um i think it's called that but you can find it on any of the outlets where you might find music okay and also sorry related to christmas also the dress up gang um guys and i created a christmas song it's kind of an anti-christmas song actually and um that is also available on wherever you find music so uh, apple music spotify whatever and that's called um shoot what is it called just look up dress up gang christmas or, and maybe my name or something like that but you'll find it i can't believe i'm spacing out on the or is that what's called spacing out on the name of the song what's the what's the dance that's, song? A, that's okay because brent you know what now that you mention it i have an ep coming out yeah a christmas ep ah. that we are um uploading today um but you know it takes a few days for it to get into the streaming systems but me and Sir Spence have a group called the three-year-olds and we do, you know, we make music uh, called the three-year-olds and we made three Christmas songs. Oh, because you guys are one young of them is an you. original three-year-olds. You must've been eating that, that vegan jerky because it made you young again to be three-year-olds. That's right. So stay tuned for that. Look up the three, the letter, the number three year olds. And, uh, and, we made an original Christmas song and I did put it on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Doug Pound. Uh, and by the way, just to, early. I did remember the name as you were saying that stuff. I didn't want to interrupt you, but it's 
called take the magic the, take the magic out of christmas is the name of the take the magic at christmas take the magic out of christmas as oh. the name of the, the 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 song that i made with the dress up gang very exciting so can't wait it, to hear it yeah it came out it came out late last year i mean the oh so it's been uh, around since last year well here's what happened is it it came out a couple of years ago as part as part of a video that we made together that was about Christmas. And then we wanted to get it out kind of a, a cleaner audio version of it, kind of a the just a more official single version of it that wasn't part of the video. And we got it out late. It was at, we put it out after Christmas last year. But now I want, I'm mentioning it at the beginning of December so that everybody can get into the Christmas mood or not get into the Christmas mood because the name of the song is take the magic out of Christmas. But um, anyway, so it's out on time this year. All right, let's get into the show. This intro sounds. Oh, sounds good. That sounds good. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to talk about. Um, yeah, well, OK, I got. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to get into the show. Yeah. Oh, let's just play the theme song, I guess. Should we roll the clip or should we just play it in the beginning? And just go right into the episode. Let's play in the beginning and get right into it. Let's go right okay. into it here. Okay, let's go right into it. Can I start things off? Yeah. Well, I had a new solution to the vaping annoyance. You mean when someone's vaping indoors? Yeah. I mean, it, or even just, it's not even, it's more of a, an idea that, eh, it's not really related to it, but it's sort of an, just a general idea about vaping. I just thought of a PSA for vaping. Okay. Basically, it's kind of hardcore. Okay. Cause you know, there's a lot of anti cigarette ads. This is an anti vaping ad. It shows a penis being sucked. Okay. Yeah. And, um, basically when they, when the person sucks on the penis, you hear that sound that is made when someone's sucking in a vape thing. And then <laughs> they take their mouth off the penis and then all this vapor comes out of their mouth. And then it just, and that's basically it. It's just, it's just that. Now, look, I know that's not the best PSA because some people really like to suck penises, but I'm saying if yeah, you don't- Yeah, that might not really work, you know? <laughs> right, maybe it's actually promoting, it's promoting, maybe it's like, yeah, a, yeah. it's a commercial for va vaping, I guess, you know? I don't think that's gonna work, Brian. Well, how about this? Maybe it's, it's this, it's that the penis has sores on it and stuff, you know? Yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh, okay. Is that is that all you got? I don't know about. I got that. one other one other thing here. Okay, you know how things. This is an annoyance, actually. So, you, YouTube clips, right? You know when you're watching a clip on YouTube, and then it show at the end of the video, it has the, it shows other clips you can watch from other for other videos, right? Well. Okay, in the past, it, those used to come up as annotations or something, and you used to be able to turn those off so that it didn't block the video, right? But now they're called end cards, and it's different, and you can't block, you can't take those off the video. And so a lot of times these come up, if someone didn't allow space to have those come up at the end of the video, it covers up a lot of the video. I've now, seen that. You're still watching it. There's still yeah. content and there's these big things on there. Yeah. Now look for certain things like um, podcasts and I don't know, things where it's not that important to show the image as much though. That's fine. But for stuff that's more like works of art, you know, like music videos or I don't know, short films and stuff. And they have, and you're still watching the video or whatever. And that those things, those cards come up and it blocks what you're seeing. And, and that's really annoying. And I just think people are not putting those cards on correctly. Don't put those end cards on the, the video if it's gonna block a crucial part of the thing. Especially, um, here's an example. I, I, say the music video to um, uh, Epic, uh, no, I mean, the song Epic by Faith No More, right? At the end of the video, you see this piano explode, but the end cards are gonna not let you see the piano explode. So. Let's solve this problem, Doug. No problem. 
you go to Amoeba Music and you buy the you buy the Faith No More VHS tape. <laughs> you really want to okay. see that video clean? You can find you can find in a file. Or you know what? Email Faith No More and say, can you please add some black space so you can put the cards there and re-upload? Yeah. Or re make them contact the creator. It, yeah, it's probably some record label or something like that, or you know. Gosh, okay, you guys is, that, gotta... is that the end of your annoyances? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, those are annoying. Um these are in no particular order. These are um, this one's from Tom. He says almond soy hemp strained water using the word milk. And then he says in all caps, it's not a lactation. God damn it. I used to make cheese at my fam's dairy farm and I find it majorly insulting. Coaxing milk out of animals ethics aside is hard work. Okay, Tom. <laughs> um, how about this? Maybe don't call what you make milk. Call it raped animal secretion. Huh? <laughs> then we won't call our dairy free stuff milk. We'll call it almond water. Problem solved. Uh, 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 How about uh, that? Right, uh, right. Just erase the word milk from the well, from the I, dictionary. I find there's a little fl a flaw in that solution, though, I think, is that if he stopped calling it milk and say called it rape, rape juice or whatever it is rape right? juice rape juice but then i think that then alternatives non-dairy alternatives to that will start calling it rape juice also you dairy free I mean? rape juice they'll say they, they'll say non-dairy rape juice you know yeah then or we're back say, to like, square one then we're screwed again yeah, yeah. almond it'll be called almond raped almond juice. raped almond juice yeah raped almond juice or whatever you know so i i think that the non-dairy alternatives are always going to whatever they call it they're going to they're going to call it that so i that's just a thought you know but i guess you know he's saying it's hard work um uh, i got it, i got it and I got you know it. i it's like okay um i'm trying I got to think idea. here uh what should they call it if you don't want to call it milk almond water why don't they call it I think Tom, it's for the consumer to understand what they're buying. Just in, it's called almond milk and or whatever, coconut milk. But in the parentheses, it says much easier to. It's not as hard of work as getting real milk. Yeah. Or it just says yeah. in parentheses. You know, <laughs> um, you could say Tom didn't do hard work at his family's dairy to create this. We simply soaked some nuts in some water and strained Actually, it. Yeah, exactly. It says sorry, and then it's like one of these emojis. Right. Sorry. In parentheses, it says. Sorry to Tom and his family. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry to Tom. Tom and his family. It's not as hard as it's not. It wasn't as hard to do this as. Oh, we could say like we're sorry that Tom had to work so hard <laughs> to get that pus out of those animals, and we pus. we did it. The, we're we're kind of cheating here. Just a big paragraph on the side. All right, Brett. We literally have. Sorry to use that word, but probably a hundred of these at least. Uh -huh. It could it could be as simple as we do it the easy way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Almond milk. We do it the easy way. Gabriel says, old people in politics, like hello grandpa, 50 years ago called, they want their mindset back. Sheesh. Wait, okay. He's happened? getting political here. What do you say? He just thinks old people in politics basically that's his that's what annoys him. Mm. You know, I gotta agree. Maybe there should be some kind of cutoff. Maybe Biden's Biden is kind of old. Maybe this should be. What's the top age, Brent? I I feel though people in their seventies are very there. I I don't think seventies is that old to me these days. You know. Yeah, I, I guess it feel, depends on the person, but maybe yeah, they should. Uh, maybe I think it'd be nice if there was just some like younger people involved. Everyone seems to be sixty and up. Well, there's, there are, you know, I mean, and there were presidents in their forties. Okay. That's a boring one. I don't know what to say. I actually don't, tr I don't know if I would trust somebody who wasn't at least a certain, I mean, I definitely wouldn't want someone in their twenties being a president, right? I'll do, I'll try anything. 
Really? What, what if? What about a teen president? What about teen president? Now we're talking. <laughs> that sounds like a mo- name of a movie or something. How about we let the teens take over for like one administration? So it's like 13 to like 17. You know what I mean? I just, I just thought of an idea for a movie though. It's like, teen, it's, teen like teen, it's like Teen Wolf, but it's Teen President where the, the high school student transforms into a president, <laughs> you know, when there's a full yeah. moon. <laughs> He's like, oh no, full moon. And then he kind of grows a, a suit on his body and a tie and stuff. And he starts getting involved in scandals and stuff. He gets like all old and he kind of gets feeble and his hair falls out. And, and he starts, he, he, yeah, he starts doing hand gestures in a presidential <laughs> kind of way. He starts kind of doing this with his hands. <laughs> uh, okay. People who cheers water. This is what Jonathan, he has a few things here. People who cheers water. Grown adults who ride those classic kid kick scooters on the sidewalk. <laughs> Butt implants. Uh, when your partner doesn't close, the drawers are cupboards. Those are some things from Jonathan. Uh, well, we break these I mean, down. Cheers, cheersing water. What's wrong with that? Yeah, what, what if, what, what's the minimum beverage that we can cheers, Jonathan? Yeah, you know, Coca-Cola. iced tea. What's the minimum? And also, yeah, what's the minimum? But also, the... about cheersing water. It first of all, I don't really like cheersing to begin with. Okay, here's Can't why. Can't imagine that you would like that. Well, for one thing, you know, you're touching the rim of your glass on the other person's rim. I mean, it sounds like a great way to get something. You know, get a disease. Okay, that's one. Two. When people cheers, the drink kind of can sometimes spill out of the cup, you know? It's too messy. Cheersing is messy. And three, there's always the chance that if it's a delicate glass, it might break. So there's a lot of reasons not to cheers. But as far as the liquid involved? I have a solution, Brent. Yeah. This is called the Jonathan Cheersing Cup. Okay. You can put any beverage in this cup and Jonathan won't know what it is. You know, you can even make it look like it looks like there's beer in there. It's like got this inner bladder, right? Uh, and that, you yeah, have seen those cups that have that inner I bladder. See, I have seen. So it looks like you're cheersing um, some kind of um, spirit or whatever, right? And you can put on this kind of like little cap so you start off with the cap on and then you cheers. You're like, cheers. Then you take the cap off and nothing touched anything. And, uh, he doesn't, Jonathan doesn't know what's in there, but as far as is, as his mind is concerned, it's not water. I wonder if he'd be cool with people cheersing diarrhea, just something to think about. Mm-hmm. Something to think about. It's kind, you can put that in the Jonathan, in the Jonathan cheersing cup. Right. And that's a harder drink than it's water. It's harder to get down. Yeah. yeah. A solution for me, how about we just don't even touch the glass anymore and just say cheers, cheers, you know, and then you just, you <laughs> I just think his drink. thing is that it's water. Yeah. Right. I know. I just was thinking, oh, you know what? <laughs> what about cheersing food? You've seen that before, right? I've, yeah. I mean, I've done that as a joke. Yeah. Yeah. People do that. They touch pizza tips or whatever. Cheers. Yeah. Tacos. You can cheers tacos. <laughs> cheers. You know what? Jonathan, I got to say, we could use a little more cheer in the world. Um, but hey, do you think pe- people ever cheer body parts with each other? You know, let's just say penises, for example. Did they ever? Yeah, say guys? I'm in the locker room, you know, hey, I go to yoga on Monday nights now. I'm going to say cheers next yeah. time. I'm going to wait at the shower when there's a guy in, in the next one. I'll be like, hey, cheers, man. Good, good. Uh, Good, good class penis. tonight, huh? Good oh, penis. yeah, cheers. Or they even cheers your penis. It's like, oh, good penis, you know? <laughs> hey, great. Hey, we have great penises. Oh, cheers to that. You know, and they cheers their penis. Oh, I'll cheers to that. <laughs> they cheers their penises together. Okay, I think that's the best one on here. Uh, you know, scooters, I mean, they're, they're an infestation. In the, if you're living in a city, those, those electric scooters everywhere, they're dangerous. A friend of mine ended up in the hospital recently. He mm. wiped out, got a didn't even remember what happened. He got a concussion. So yeah, okay. We can use less of those. 
But implants, yeah, we, we don't. Well, I mean, if you have a pro, to me, I think I, if you have, I a problem, don't really notice. I don't. I'm not in a place. I'm not. I don't associate people with people that would even get that. I, oh, I had it done. <laughs> <laughs> I no, guess I do. <laughs> yeah. You didn't. Yeah, you didn't know that, Doug. I had a butt reduction. <laughs> uh closing not closing drawers and cubbers yeah my butt developed hey, Tom, i got a solution for that my butt if developed partner, too much when I was if your partner doesn't close drawers and cupboards take uh take the door off that way there's nothing to close <laughs> you know i don't know if you can see but i don't really have i kind of have an open kitchen kind of thing where the, the items are sort of I took some of the drawers off actually in my cupboards because it's like every time you got to open the door. Why, why not just have it open all the time? Or if it's a problem, uh, John, Jonathan, uh, drill it shut. Border it up. Yep. Make them anything that they want. They have to just buy it that day and use it and carry it around in their backpack. Make them miss you. Lock yourself in the room. Punish them. Look, lock wait, yourself how about if, if they don't close the cupboard, do something really passive aggressive where like you walk around with your mouth open. Chew with your mouth open. Huh? Like, what are you doing? Huh? What do you mean? Act like you're the partner. Hey, hi, honey. What's your dinner today? Cozy. Oh, can you, um, you know, your mouth is open, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you left the covers open. So why can't I leave my mouth? Open? <laughs> Start a big fight, big passive aggressive fight. <laughs> or you could just walk around with your butt cheeks spread open the whole time. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just have it. Yeah. Like, what out. are you doing, babe? What are you doing? Babe, well, babe. you left the covers open. Well, you left I, over I, I could leave my butt cheeks open. <laughs> She's like, honey. Then they'll be stinks. like, you know, you could have just told me to shut the cupboard. You didn't have to do that. Honey, it stinks. Can you close your butt cheeks? <laughs> well, honey, can you close the cupboard door? Because that stinks. Because your behavior stinks. Oh, wait. No, here's a way to solve it. Put stinky stuff in there. So then they'll be like, whew, I got to close this. <laughs> yeah. Put something like, from babe, she should be like, say his partner's a she. She'll be like. What is in those cupboards? What what is what is that jar of uh, stuff? Oh, hey babe, that's um, yeah, that's my my uh, spoiled skunk juice. Or you could just take something from your butt. Oh, that's my butt stuff. She's like, can you take it out of the cupboard, please? Okay, tell you what, if you shut the cupboard door, I'll take out my skunk juice. <laughs> skunk juice. And we got a solution. We got solutions for these, Brent. Okay. Your rape, your rape, it's your raped skunk juice. Uh, those, Jesse doesn't like those TikToks where the narration is an AI voice. Oh, right, right. You know right. those? Right. Um, Going to my sister's house. Right. With, you know. I, I'm trying to think of a solution. Um, how about just don't go on TikTok, I guess. I don't know. That's, Harvard, that's um, something. Or you know what? Go on TikTok, be the biggest TikToker, and then do a video about like we gotta stop with that narration. I'm sick of it. I hate that voice. Or write to TikTok or say, can you please give me an instead of that same AI voice, can you do something different? Can you have some different voices? I got a solution. What's your solution? Jesse, find a video that has it. Find every video that has it and re you record the re-record the narration and send it to the person and say, yeah, so use can, this. Can you upload it? Use this instead. Re just tell them, take that down and you reuse it with I did a narration for you. Yeah, go on Fiverr. Say or, I have a new I have a new service on Fiverr. I'll yeah. record your TikTok narration. Tell me what to say. I'll do it. And actually, I'll do it for free because I just want to get rid of these AI voices. Actually, no, you 
the co it cost is negative five. It's a negative fiver. He'll pay the five. He'll pay you five if they use his voice because he wants it. He wants to get rid of those AI voices. I'm. I'll do the narration and I'll pay you for it. <laughs> solved. Another one solved. Oh, people who ask how how does it taste the instant the food touches your mouth. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a big problem here. We have some major, we're really getting into some big world problems here. Um, I think of why that would be annoying though, to some, I mean, it could be, it's like, let me, let me, maybe, uh, this is coming in from Jacques, Jacques, uh, maybe Jacques is at a French restaurant and he needs the flavor to kick in before he can really tell you or Oh, I, I have it. I have an idea. Um, I wish I had some food to like demonstrate with, but I'll just mimic it here. Brent, yeah, mime it. Ask me. Ask me how it tastes like the second it 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 touches my mouth. Mm, look at this sandwich. Oh, how's that tasting? Blah 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 blah. Uh, what? You spit it out and make a big like gross scene out of it. <laughs> no. Right. Yeah. Like, I just took a bite. Why would you ask me that right when I took my bite? No, I don't think you even need to say it that now, can you explicitly. Get me a brand new sandwich because I spit out my first bite. Or you could just say this. You don't even have to like get that, be that explicitly angry. You could just go like this. Here, you do it to me. Watch this. Uh huh. Oh, how's it taste, Brent? I'm spitting it out. Yeah. It tastes really good. It tastes really good. <laughs> just, you know, and then just give them the plate of whatever you just, or like this, like this. I Actually, like how I, long I, you were doing. You're just not. <laughs> I was taking it out of my mouth. You know? ah. hey, hey, hello. 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 And then go like napkin after napkin, get every like molecule of that sandwich yeah. out of your mouth. Okay. Hold on. And then you're just like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, Brett. <laughs> you tell them you the whole thing. Take like five about. minutes to like yeah. rinse your mouth, gargle. You you bust out a toothbrush. You're like, hold on. <laughs> yeah. You you have to go to the dentist. Let me go. Hold on. Let me I, I, I gotta go to the dentist. Gotta, let me go to the dentist first. <laughs> How about this though? I have a cleaning scheduled. How about this? This is another thought when I was doing that. Okay. But I'm gonna eat the sandwich here. Ready? Okay. Oh, hey Brent, how does that taste? <laughs> Tastes good. I basically <laughs> oh, yeah. you want to try pull, it? Pulled it out of my mouth, and I don't even say you'd want to pull try it. Out it. I pulled it out just, of my mouth. You face you hold it out towards hold them. it right in front of their face and say, it "Tastes good." <laughs> imagine, imagine that would be so gross to put it in their front of their face. It's almost touching their mouth or nose. Or, you know, you can do Jack. If you want to be honest about it, just do this. I'll do it again, Brent. Okay. Oh, look at this sandwich. Oh, how is that tasting? I don't know yet. How about this? Ask wait, me wait. later. Ask me tomorrow. I thought you were about to go like this. The person goes, on, okay, this is a. I don't know yet. Okay, I got Actually, an idea. You kind of do. Idea. You know what? You know if food's good right off the you do. first bite. You do, so you do, but. You do, something. but. Here's, but here's <laughs> something though. You ready? Yeah. Just you, I'm not going to answer, okay? At first, I'm not going to answer, okay? Uh -huh. So then you move on, okay? You move on and start talking about something else that happened, you know, like whatever, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wait, I, I, I'm the sandwich guy. Okay. Oh, gotcha. You, you're going to ask me how it was. I'm not okay, going to gotcha. answer. You're the and sandwich then, guy. Yeah. I'm not going to answer. Then you just go on about something else. So anyway, I was, but went to the thing the other night or whatever. Right. Oh, how's that taste, Brent? Anyway. Um, yeah. So tomorrow we, we are going to the pottery, uh, competition. Uh, Cindy does, uh, you know, all her pots broke. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. You just kind of come in at the at yeah, some yeah, time yeah. later or something. Yeah, like real later. 
Yeah. <laughs> or yeah, I, I'm thinking I should have said this as you were talking. Okay. 30 minutes later, you're still talking about something else. Right. Or, or something like that. I don't know. It's just an idea. Uh, videotape weasel says he or she is annoyed uh, by ankle socks. I got to agree. Ankle socks. Yeah. Uh, that's the ones that hide. You don't see the sock, right? They're in your shoe. Basically. No, those are fine because you don't see the sock. I think the ankle socks are the ones that are just it. You get a, like half an inch of sock and then you see like bare knee, bare, bare leg. And then you see the top of the pants. I'm trying to understand. I think, you know like, what an ankle sock is. I don't know what you mean exactly because if it, it's what I think, I mean, I think it looks really good on for girls when they have socks that are, um, they're not socks that are kind of what I would think are ankle length. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe they're, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what ankle length means to be honest. Well, just do a quick Google search. You'll see. Um, well, look, this Depends is not on. about if it, if it annoys us or not. Right, 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 right. To me, right. like seeing it on a guy, I don't need to see that. Put some, put some real man socks on. Well, I just, I don't know what is meant by such a thing, you know? I know uh, exactly what they mean. Um, so the solution to that, I have a solution. This yeah, what is, is it? Or videotape weasel. Um, I have a new invention. These are glasses, right? They're like this and they have, um, you know, like a horse blinder that blocks the sides. Uh huh. You know what those are, right? Something like that. Horses wear these things where they, it blocks their peripheral vision. It just lets them see in the front. Oh, okay. But this will be ankle sock blinder glasses oh. where the bottom is blocked. So they have, they don't have, they see the, they don't have to see the whole bottom half of anyone. Oh, I just thought of a solution that kind of what you reminded me of. You know what? I got the best solution. You want to get rid of ankle length socks or you don't want to see them anymore? Get rid of culottes and cropped pants. <laughs> okay. What are culottes? <laughs> I think they're culottes, but basically a lot of people's pants these days, they, they're kind of they kind of, they're almost like shin length or something, you know? And well, it's a trend right now that I'm not a huge fan of personally, but um, get rid of them. And then, so the socks, you won't even be seeing people's socks. That's just the solution. I ain't mad. I ain't, um, I ain't mad at those pants so much. I think they're all right. I kind of think they're, they're fine. Well, they're kind of like, would you say fire? They're fire. No, I said they're fine. Oh, <laughs> I kind of think they're you know, fine. I, I kind of don't mind them. They're fire. <laughs> you know, I don't mind them. I think they're kind of fire. I think they're fire. Actually, <laughs> You know, I don't mind. I mean, them. Look, there's worse there. There's worse. Well, they um, look like bell bottoms that are high, They're kind of high ankled bell bottoms in a way or something like that. You know? <laughs> or high. I see. Anyway, I know what you're saying. I know carry what you're saying. on, carry on. Um, all right, let's get to the next, uh, the next one. Solved. <laughs> we solved it. Solved it. So easy. Um, this is another, this is from Christy. It's another grown ass men, uh, complaint. Grown ass men who constantly reference pop culture or speak in movie quotes. WTF are you even talking about? Um, uh, I just, yeah. Okay. It's not about us. I guess. I guess I don't know a lot of people like that. So I, it's hard for me to understand. I, I, I do that sometimes. I mean, I don't, you know, and I'm, 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 I'm fine with it. So I guess it's, they, they find this annoying about me, I guess, but, um, you know, cause say I'm going to see you at a party, right? I might say, Oh, see you at the potty, Richta. You know I mean? Hey, it's fun to kind of mention that kind of, you know, reference that kind of stuff. You know? I don't think you constantly, uh, do that though. I'm always saying yeah, see no. at the party, Richter. No, um, uh, 
No, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of a solution for them, even though I, I don't think I probably, I don't, I think I like it when people do movie. Well, I don't know. I mean, it depends on to the extent, but what's a solution? A solution would be, oh, I got the solution. Just start making references to movies that don't exist. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. So, so that then they, they'll feel they, like, they'll, they'll feel like, uh... they'll feel like they don't get the reference and they'll feel kind of like, maybe they'll feel, oh, maybe I shouldn't make references to things because people won't know the reference. So here's an example, Doug. Um, so it's just say, say to me, uh, so say, okay, so I'll, well, I'll meet you at the, uh, I'll, meet, I'll meet you at the, 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 the restaurant at, at 3 PM or something like that. I'll meet you at the restaurant at 3 PM. Okay. See you later. Lockhart. <laughs> Is that just like, you just made up a quote? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Or something like that. I don't know. Or like, or, I, I, I guess we'll meet when I see you, Mister Lockhart. <laughs> okay, you you tell me something, and I'll I'll just off the top. I'll try to make it sound like I'm saying a movie quote. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. You just speak everything you say is da 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 a movie quote. You know, like. It's or, or from a pop culture, ref, like sure, play it out, fake. play it out. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't been doing a library in a long time because um, I don't know, it just seems like I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't had a reason to go there. Oh, library alert! Library alert! Put the book back. Put the book back, Johnson. Put the book back, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so basically you have to <laughs> you have to make yeah, you have to make the other you do person put out you do a quote, you got to freestyle a quote. Right, you have to freestyle um, a quote and make them feel yeah. like if someone's doing that, make them feel like you that you know, you start doing references that they don't get. Okay, you ready? Problem solved. We understand the bit. Okay. Uh hey Brent, you going to go to the office Christmas party on Thursday? Uh, I might, I, I don't know. I'm, th I might stay in. I don't know. That doesn't sound like a movie quote, right? Oh, I didn't know I was, it was my, I thought you were going to do turn. it. Uh, oh, my turn. Okay. I got to freeze. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll do something else. Ready? No, no, go ahead. Are you going to go to the Christmas party Thursday? Well, of course. Cause you know me, I love pencils. <laughs> right. I love pencils. I love pencils. <laughs> Scribble, dibble, dibble. <laughs> Scribble, dibble, dibble. It's, you know what's funny is it doesn't even sound like it's necessarily a movie quote. <laughs> it just sounds like... These sound like all like, uh, these like, these sounds like Anchorman quotes. You you just, know? Or it just sounds like you're a kind of person who <laughs> sings, you know, sings things, you know, the way that people, you know, or they say things in kind of quirky voices because it's some sort of way they just act you know what i mean and this is from christy so maybe these are christy if these are men that you are perhaps dating or something dump them because it's not gonna oh, work i have a solution for her what oh watch watch every, a bunch of more movies in pop movie. culture watch every movie yeah double down on them yeah and, and fact, get into I, it if okay. you can't beat them join them get into it yeah no in fact out quote them on the same thing they're referencing you know so, you know, if there's something that they reference and, and then you know the reference, lean into it and start quoting it even more to the Brent, point where do, they don't get Brent, it. Brent, say a quote from like any movie. Okay. Um, McFly, you bojo. Hoverboards don't go on water. Oh, Back to the Future 2? You like that movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Who was the DP? Probably, uh, you're a fan. You're a oh, fan. That, that was uh, Karlovsky. Mm. Mm, okay, I don't think so. Well, no, well, he, he, Are okay, you going fine. to the party or not? No. Okay, fine. Who was the best boy? Okay, fine. Who was the best? You think you're a fan? Who did craft services? <laughs> okay, the next one is coming in from Nathan. Uh, something that bothers him is being alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay he's being a little bit um sardonic yeah perhaps 
Sure. Let's see here. Alive. I got a solution. Um, Liz, I love my cat so much, but when she licks my face in the morning, it's annoying. Uh, this is an easy one, Liz. Get rid of the cat. <laughs> no, I got an easier solution. You smear um a uh, nail po a uh, nail polish on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate. Either put some kind of shoot your face up with Novocaine so it's numb so you can't feel the lick. Or and put and just put rat poison on your face. <laughs> yeah, get rid of the cat, throw it in a bag, throw it in the river. Well, no, not too much <laughs> rat poison. But just enough that the cat will get sick and not and then you know condition the cat to know not to lick I'm kidding. Face. We don't want to harm it. We don't want to harm your we don't want to harm cats. the animals, we'll of course not. Love, but you love your cats, okay. But don't get a cat. Don't get an animal. I mean, look. I had three friends whose aunt, whose pets died, and it's just the pain is a lot. Don't get an animal. Let's well, have less pets. But no, here you put some stuff on your face. I'm talking uh something nasty right what's something nasty oh you know probably like mentholiptus or men you know like uh camphor camphor <laughs> you go to the store be like do you have any camphor and they'll be like yeah it's on aisle four and then you can say well that's what i cam for <laughs> there you go I mean, she could also close the door. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. There's also, you can just, yeah. Cat. I mean, why is the door? Yeah. I mean, how is the cat getting in there? I mean, yeah. Restrict of, the cat. This look, is an easy one. I think look, she was just kind of being silly, but yeah, she's being silly, but you know what? Though? Silly. She's being silly, but you know what? I got an idea though, real quick. Once the cat licks you, lick the cat back and it will just be. Oh yeah. You lick the shit out of that cat. So they, so they hate it. Lick their, lick their butthole. L lick everything about them, you know? Um, or you could wrap your face up like the mummy when you sleep and then the cat has nothing to lick. Actually, what did you, what if you just respond like you're having a seizure or something? I wonder if that freaked the cat out, you know, and it would yeah. learn not to lick your face. So the cat licks your face and just start going. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the cat will be freaked out by that. Yeah. Um, Declan has a, this is annoying him. This cut on the inside of my mouth that keeps getting worse every time I eat. Yeah, that's an annoying thing. Mm. Mm. Cut um, it in the inside of your mouth? Mm. I've seen that. I've I've bitten my cheek here and there. You know, that kind of thing will happen. I hate that when you keep biting the same spot. That's the worst. Uh, I don't really, you know, you, you just get a little. Uh, I, you uh -huh. know what I find? This is like a real solution, but I found that that apple cider vinegar does miracles for mm. Really? Mouth stuff. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. You ever get a canker sore? Yeah. You switch, well, I, a little I, bit of, you switch a little bit of that around and it like it's gone. Oh, really? You know, I my mean, not instantly, but it goes away quick. My sort of thing for canker sores, I feel like has reduced canker sores for me, is using mouthwash, Listerine, on a regular basis. Yeah, it doesn't do fully it. get rid of it, no, but it can help, I think, maybe. Um, so how can we fix Declan's problem? Every um, time you eat, Declan, don't eat until it's healed. How about Declan? Just go on liquids until it's done. <laughs> yeah. Declan, go on liquids till it's done. <laughs> go on liquids. Solved. Fred says, loud cars, dirt bikes, and trucks. And the pollution from said vehicles. Also, the ice cream truck that parks in my neighborhood and plays its jingle for long periods of time after dark. Okay. Loud cars, dirt bikes, trucks. I hate these things. You know. You know I hate them. Um, the solution to that. I've been trying to think of a solution for that for years. I want to well, chase these. I want to chase these guys down and be like, "What is wrong with you? Why do you do it?" Well, maybe you can just. Oh, you find them, find track them down, find where they live, and start farting outside their window really loudly, and just uh, record their car. Ah, 
and just get a big, and this could work for the ice cream truck too. Get your own business that has, Hey, if, if it's allowed to put, you know, we have taco trucks everywhere. Why don't, why don't they make, how come they're not paying me? Just get a food truck, get into the food truck business and put the biggest sound system you can, you can afford. Make your own ice cream truck, right? <laughs> you know, and put in even louder, run them out of the neighborhood. Fire, fire Give your fire. ice cream away for like half the price of their, of that ice cream truck. And the kids will come to you and he'll run out of business. He'll find another block. And then that truck will go away. Now, now that you got rid of the ice cream truck, you go after these loud cars. You find them each one, one by one. You just track, you follow them. You track in them down and you, you blast track them down. You park in front of their house and you play the loudest ice cream music you can find. You, or just car sounds. The you loudest run it through, you, you run it through a distortion pedal and blast them, right? He'll be like, what are you doing in front of my house? And you can say, sir, I'll gladly move. I won't sell my discount ice cream anymore if you would put a proper muffler on that car and quit making everyone deaf with your stupid ass car. You don't even need to say that. I think that they'll get the picture by just hearing sounds. Yeah, that, I don't think they will. These are dimwits. You get really loud, though. In fact, you start piping it into their house somehow. You get it through the chimney. You know, get a hose. This is what you do. Get up on the roof, put a hose through the chimney, and then just pipe the sound in. So they're hearing it loudly. This huge, really loud motorcycle sound. I like it. Um, okay. Solved. Another problem solved. Yeah, easy. Easy. Oh, here's one that I, that I can relate to. This is from James. People having full-blown conversations with the barista while in front of the line, while there's people waiting. I've had this at the farmer's market. You know, there's like a long line for my favorite guy. And these people are like catching up. And it's hot and we're all waiting and it's like, come on with the full blown conversations. I get it. You can have a few niceties and move on. But when you keep talking and talking, what are you going to do? How do we solve this problem, Brent? Easy. You join in on their conversation. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just start getting in on it. You know? You yeah. Just, I mean, Oh, maybe. I heard you. Hey, are you talking about, are you talking about squid game? And then you'd be like really annoying until that person wants to leave. Oh, you start just ruin it, ruin it for them. Oh yeah. And then how about how, I mean, I'm not saying this best. Right. How about how the squid kills everyone at the end? Yes. Yeah, That's my favorite episode. Right. Wasn't that episode awesome? <laughs> but you don't, you don't say it so aggressively too. You just kind of smile. Like, oh yeah. I, oh, that's, that's awesome. How they all die and stuff, you know, or yeah. how, and then, you know, or it turns out the guys, it's the guy's dad the whole time. Yeah. I can't believe that squid was the Isn't dad the whole time. That was crazy that the squid was the dad actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to jump in on my conversation? I'll have a fake conversation. Yeah. With the barista. Go ahead. So it's like, okay, well, thanks for the coffee. So anyway, how is, uh, how's the job going? And you know, how's the, you got that new car, right? How's that car going? How's that? How's that F-150? Oh, oh nice yeah. Car. How is it actually? I'm thinking about getting, a, how is the car? Wait, why are you looking at me? I want to, you look at, I want to know what the car, tell me about the car. Well, I should get going with my coffee. Wait, wait, what car do you drive? <laughs> I try to keep them there. You follow, you don't even order anything. You wait, follow wait, hold on. What kind of car, what, wait, what car do you drive? I know how to, I know, I have another uh, solution to this. You get, if it's like a problem, a chronic problem, problem at a specific coffee shop day you go to that coffee shop when it's like dead or you wait you get like five friends and you're all act like you don't know each other you wait you get in line behind as soon as someone has a conversation you all at the same time go ah, i guess i i guess i'm not going to order anything this is taking too long with these conversations and you storm out like in a big group like eight people <laughs> You stage is like a flash mob, but it's a flash, um, passive aggressive, <laughs> like 
fake walkout. <laughs> y'all, you're all just like, oh, okay, um, <laughs> guys. I think we should find a guys, different let's, coffee shop. You know, quicker. I'm out of here. I guess I'm out of here. They're gonna talk about their car. So you just do it. You stage it, and then that barista will get the message. Oh, you know what? Or, or better, yeah. how about this? Stage a mob to all get in on the conversation. You know, everybody starts. <laughs> oh, they all go around. Right. They all like, get. Wait, wait. What kind of car do you drive? No, oh, oh, I drive a Honda. What do you got? What? Oh, I have a Honda. Cool. That's so cool. You have and a then, car too? Or everybody? Wow. Gets in. Oh, he's and they turn to the people in back of you and they're like, "What well, says he has it? Apparently, he got a new car." <laughs> Okay, here's one from Memory Bride. When people hand you your change by placing the bills flat in your hand and then dumping the coins on top, it's much easier than uh, it's much easier when they hand you the bill first, so you can put it in your wallet, and then drop the change in your hand to dump it in your pocket. Um. So. What you got to do is you just got to be quick when they, when they put the bill down on your hand, you know, here's, they're coming in with the bill. Okay. You're not, you, you slip it out. You're boom. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, they don't have a chance to put the coins after that. Like, Thank you. How about this? You say, keep the change. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. So, okay, here, let me take the, let me take that. Uh -huh. Here's your thing. Great. Thank you. <laughs> oh there's no, you go like this you're like this you have a little coin cup so you're like you get the bill like oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you it's like this there you go keep the change <laughs> keep the change how about this don't pay with cash i mean that's no an coins. easy solution no more i honestly I haven't, I, I pretty much stopped using cash. I use it once in a while, but i am kind of, I mean, I used to, I used to be so into, I never used credit cards because I don't know. I was just was kind of stuck. I was, I felt, um, you know, I'm kind of adverse to change. Um, not that kind of change, but I'm adverse to changing and I always used money and I, I used money for years and, and I didn't realize want those it. dirt. I could, yeah. You're like, I got to do credit card cause these bills are dirty. And they it's, didn't. it wasn't even the dirty bills. It's just that it's so much easier to not carry money around, you know, and carry a bunch of money around and deal with coins and small bills and things like that. I just, so much easier you know just to have it all on one card yeah maybe this guy is a, cr a criminal and he has to be out there using cash because it, uh, it kind of took me a while to to embrace that sort of you know this this new technology credit cards and then but once i did finally realize oh it's so much easier i thought oh my gosh this is easier i could just carry all the money right here on one card so easy uh this is coming in from pat QT jingle music and commercials, especially ones that involve that whistling. We all know we've heard it. It's usually a ukulele involved going. Right, ukulele, ukulele. That's really popular now. Yeah, the whistling and the ukulele is the cute music. Um, Pat, I have an idea. I have a solution. Easy solution. You become an advertising executive at the <laughs> biggest ad agency in the country, and you hire Brent and I to make the commercials. Ah, you think I'm going to use that QT music? You got to be out of your mind. No problem. Problem solved. That's it. You got That's it. That's it. Yeah, Come. hire us. Um, this is coming in from Anthony. I think we're going to see a lot of these drivers not using turn signals. Yeah. Um, you know, that this kind of happened to me like today, you know, when you're at a stop sign, it's like a four way stop. This car was coming here. I was going there and he got to the stop sign first. So, you know, we're both going straight ostensibly. Mm -hmm. So I just keep going. He's like, Whoa, I'm going left. And then he puts his signal on and I'm just like, no, man. 
you got to put the signal on. He he understood too. He I went on through. He uh, went on through. Oh, he did. He got it. He knew they were wrong. So what are you gonna do? How do we solve that, Brent? He maybe, they, we should go maybe five more minutes of these, and then we'll go after dark. How about he that? Knew, he knew they were wrong. Um, maybe you should just start saying. I'm trying to think of a solution right now. I'm. Did I say this last week where I said, yeah. "Oh, you're." I think you pull over and and you get out those you get out some big flags, <laughs> uh -huh. like you're waving down a ship or something. Okay. And you say. Your turn signal is broken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I think you just got to crash into them. I think you just kind of go for it. Yeah, just crash. Yeah, you just get a dash cam, crash into them and say, hey, they didn't use their signal. I guess maybe they'll learn their lesson oh, 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 now. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you get the dash cam and then yeah. you crash into them and you can prove that it was their fault because they didn't have, because you have the dash cam footage of them not using their blinker. You know, you get insurance, you get the money that their insurance pays it. You know, you get a settlement. You know, you can also claim injuries too, physical injuries to yourself. Yeah. And then you just get, you cash get them yourself out. racked up, get yourself cash crashed up, total your car. And you know what? That mistake of theirs, not using their turn signal, they'll learn, you know, they'll be. Yeah. One car at a time. And then next time it happens, do it again. And you'll be rich. You'll just be laughing to the bank. Yeah. Here's a good one from Justin. Girlfriends that don't talk loud enough from the passenger seat while ordering from drive through goods. <laughs> while ordering drive through goods. Girlfriends? <laughs> Girlfriends. I like that. I like how specific it is. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, the whole drive through uh, thing where it's like, what do you want? And then, you know, it's like you're trying to get the information and pass it along. He's doing it where he's making the girlfriend yell across him you know to the you gotta have you gotta be like well, we're going in figure out what you want now i'll order the whole thing i think the problem really is justin's that don't ask their girlfriends what they want before they order oh i got the i got the impression that justin worked as as the drive through employee and he wasn't hearing the girlfriend loud enough. oh that that could be it too i'm just assuming that I guess he could be the drive through employee. <laughs> so I think the idea is... Uh, you just make... Say you're working at the Dunkin' Donuts drive through Just have a sign. Talk to your manager. Say, would it be okay if I put a sign, just a courtesy sign for customers? And just um, attention, girlfriends in passenger seats, please uh, speak up louder. Please, you know, try to speak loudly enough so that our, our donut master can hear... I got an idea. Uh, the order, please. Well, how about this? If she's not speaking, if the girlfriend is not speaking loud enough, pass a note, write a note, pass it to the to the guy and to the the man, the boyfriend in the car, and say, "Can you pass this to? Can you pass this to your girlfriend?" And the note says, "What? <laughs> please respond." <laughs> and then she write down what she wants, and then passes the note back, and you know, there you go. Oh, I got it. So you have, say you're the drive through operator at Dunkin' Donuts. You should have a volume control on your mic or on the speaker. Um, and it's just sort of the same thing. You teach them a lesson. So next time they come through, you blast them, basically. So you start off normal in case they're not a quiet, soft-spoken girlfriend. You know, so it's like this. Hey, welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, my name is Doug. What well, can I get started for you? Would you like to try our new Can mocha, iced mocha? Um, and then it's like, um, no, I'm going to, I don't need to try that. Um, what I want is just, uh, I'm going to have a bear claw and an old fashioned uh, sugar donut. And babe, what did you want? I just want uh, a donut. <laughs> and then you blast. You're like, excuse me. I couldn't hear what she said. <laughs> and then they're like, ah. You blast, you, you turn on uh, a recording of, uh, you use the, the loud sound from like the guy's uh, charger or his Mustang or his Harley. You know, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> what if you did that? <laughs> right, yeah. What if you... <laughs> oh, I get it. No, you go like this. You go like this. Oh, what did she want? A bag of uh, 
she wants a bag of sperm and a new boyfriend. Is that what she said? Oh, oh, well, you gotta have like, you gotta. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, did yeah. You, did she just say that she wants a lot, uh, a better boyfriend? Because that's Is what she I just heard. Saying her boyfriend has the smallest penis of all time and that it's, you know she needs a, a real man she needs a real works, man that could like find out what she wants and then convey the order back so she doesn't have to talk quietly across him is that what you want because uh it's four that'll be 478 please please put her onto the second window right i like that you just <laughs> you kind of don't you mishear what they say hardcore you know just go um it's like but she's Oh, did she just say she's she's uh, harmful to herself and her loved ones? Somebody call nine one one, and then you call the police. I thought she said some. I thought she was was in danger. Or she's being. No, you got to relate it to her being quiet. Oh. Uh, oh, does she? I'm sorry. Should do I'm gonna call? Should I call an ambulance? Is she okay? I can barely hear. Her. Is she? Is she? Her voice yeah, is, is she failing. Is she, is she, is she, is she dying? Or, yeah. Is she is. Does she is she terminal? <laughs> How about this though? Here's another idea. Just if she talks too softly, turn up some loud club music, you know, in your place, really loud, you know, just thumping bass. And oh, then turn it just, down right when she's about to talk. No, you just go like this. You know, you kind of uh -huh. go like that to your ear because it's so loud. And make her think that she needs to talk louder because the music is so loud. Okay, so I have another one. Hi, welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. What can I get started for you today? Yeah, let me get a devil's food and a long, a chocolate long john. And babe, what did you want? You want guys get a small thing? Okay, pull around to the first window. Then they pull around. And it's like, here's your long john, sir, and your devil's food. And here is uh, for her. <laughs> and it's just and it's a bag of just like mush. Right, mush. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She'll learn. She'll learn from She'll that. Learn. She'll learn. That's like this is a good one. Um, and yeah, this is good. By the way, something that I'm finding enjoyable about this bit is the act out of the girlfriend, too, by the way. Here, here, I want to just play the girlfriend. It's more like this. Yeah, um, can I just have one donut hole? <laughs> just a, a glass of warm milk. <laughs> but you know what? I I mean that's funny. But I also thought it was funny that you're right next to the mic. You can hear you very well. But we're just you're. Not, it's not making sense. So here, you be the boyfriend. I'll be the girlfriend. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a. I'll get a. Just give me a classic, uh, plain donut. And what did you want, babe? Could you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <She's> just... <laughs> Here's my this is my pet peeve. When uh when girlfriends when they when they're ordering drive through goods, they just go <laughs> <laughs> She's all basically a vegetable almost, you know. She's he's here, do it again. Ask me what I want, yeah. Huh? Ask me what I want. Say okay, babe. what is and ma'am, what did you want? She just basically has no she's expressionless, you know, and she just she doesn't even she's basically just a vegetable. Anyway, okay, that, that one's that one's that solved. Good, let's let's one. end on let's end on that. That was a good one to end on, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean so you know, many more. we can almost do a part three. I think we should do a part three. Maybe we though. should do a part three because this I think is too much should, fun. I actually I'm having way more fun doing this than any just about any other thing we could do interviewing or yeah i agree guys. i actually think we should just do this until we run out and we yeah. should just do do the ep the, it was just we'll just keep making the episodes about this so let's okay, just okay okay let's, let's but, get into you know we're gonna keep we're gonna keep talking about these after dark so if you want to keep listening go to patreon.com slash pound cast and um and, uh, thank you i'm to just gonna read the question i'm gonna read the uh i'm gonna read the the annoyance and then just to give you just to tease you a little bit when you're walking into a building and the person in front of you holds the door for you, but you're kind of far away and you have to start running. <laughs> also, okay. when they don't hold the door for you, but you're close enough that they should have, there's barely ever a happy medium. Okay, so we'll get into that. Thank you to Chloe Bonilla, Jack Birch, and Jackie Montana, the, the Poundcast team, um, for helping us with our stuff. Thank you to LouisvilleVeganFoods.com. Use the code word Poundcast for 20% off. 
and um, we'll see. Check you. us out once again. Get ticket links. Look on Twitter. Look on. Just look us up. Look. Go to the venue sites. Okay, Zanzibar, Louisville, Hideout, Chicago, and um, the Skyline Comedy Cafe or Club in Appleton. Okay, look it up. January twentieth, twenty first, and twenty second. Come and see us. Turn up. Stay. Uh, keep posted about the details for the patreon exclusive holiday party that will be on zoom peace doug and brad talking to each other doug and brad what will they talk about today doug and brad are talking to some pimples, Doug and Brett. We'll talk to them.